Welcome back ladies and gents. In today's video tutorial I'll be looking at 4.3 using partial fractions. First of all let's recap partial fractions. There are three types of partial fractions which you could get in the exam. The first one uh, could be of the following form. 3 over bracket x plus 2 bracket x minus 1. You could be asked to split this into partial fractions. Well, in this case, you can let this particular fraction equal a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 1. Once you've done that, you can then use the method of substitution to work out the value of a and the value of b respectively. Okay, the second form of fraction you could get in the exam could be of the following form. 3 over uh, bracket x plus 2 squared bracket x minus 1. Over here, we have a repeated factor, and the repeated factor is x plus 2. So if I want to represent this in partial fraction form, I need to write the following. a over x plus 2 in bracket squared, plus b over x plus 2 in brackets, plus c over x minus 1 in brackets. Then I can use my standard method of substitution to work out the values of A, B and C. The third type that you could get in the exam is of the following form. The fraction looks something like this. X cubed plus X squared plus X minus 1 for example. All over a quadratic. Uh, maybe something like X minus 2, X plus 1. First of all, what we observe over here is that this particular fraction is a top-heavy fraction. It is an improper fraction because the top is a cubic and the bottom is a quadratic. Now, if you have an improper fraction, the very first step is to use long division. So if you set up your bus stop, inside you'll put your cubic, so that's x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 1 and the divisor in this case is this particular quadratic so the divisor is in bracket x minus 2 in bracket x plus 1 now obviously when you're doing long division your target is to first of all expand this bracket and then carry out your long division so if I expand this bracket I get something like x squared uh, x squared minus x minus 2 so that's what I get. Okay, the way I got that is x times x is x squared, x times positive 1 is x, minus 2 times positive x is minus 2x, minus 2 times positive 1 is minus 2. Okay, and we know that minus 2x plus x will give us minus x. Now, the divisor is this quadratic. We have the cubic inside. Whatever we work out over here, I can call it A, it's called the quotient, okay, the quotient. And when I carry out my long division, whatever I've calculated over here is called my remainder. Once you've worked out A and B, um, you can actually write the following. This particular fraction is equal to a, which is my quotient, plus b, which is my remainder, all over the divisor, which is x minus 2, x plus 1, both of them in brackets. And then what you can do now is take this a step further and split this over here into partial fractions using the form that we have in number one so split into two fractions you can do that over here okay so if you were to do something like that you would have a plus okay now I'm going to introduce a new variable C all over X minus 2 plus D all over X plus 1 so another new variable D okay and then you just work out C and D by your standard method of substitution. So this is a quick recap of partial fractions. We'll be using this particular concept in section 4.3 using partial fractions.